Right, I thought I'd show you what I do for printing onto um, things like vellum, um, not vellum so much, nor tracing paper. They go through my machine okay. But tissue paper, and this is a form of deli fat paper that I found. Um, it's, um, I got it off Amazon. It's, it comes in big sheets, so I cut it into four. Okay, and then I still got to trim it a little bit to um, go on the A4 piece. Um, it's called wet strength white tissue paper and you get 60 sheets but like I say I cut them into four and it's about 12 pounds something okay um, um, I had a practice run last week I've done a few images on them and it worked beautifully because they it seemed to hold up better than tissue paper yeah and it still dissolves when you um did I oh there's one here here we go Okay, so I've just done um, like this outline of a rose and I, I printed it out and then just gel mediumed on it on there. Yeah, and it's gone. So I only just see it and I haven't inked or anything around it. So that is perfect. So I'll show you what I do to print on it. I just, I know I've done videos like this before, but I think it was before I started saving them into playlists. So I have no idea where they are. And also, there's a lot of new people around, new people started. So, you know, just to, to recap on how I do things. So I cut them to the size of my paper. I'm, at the moment, gluing them on the back of some prints, prints that went wrong. <laughs> Didn't print right. Ages ago, that was an old kit, that one. And one, the colour's not right, nor... The print I just had on the wrong setting, so sometimes I'll, I'll print a kit out and, and walk away and then go back and think, oh, I didn't have the right setting on that. That was for something else. But anyway, so I thought I'd use these. I'd still, I'd still make use of these because it's not going to touch that bit. You've got to find out which um, side you, your printer prints on so you know which way to put it in. But then it doesn't matter because if you accidentally print on the other side, you can always flip it around and reprint on the, <laughs> the other side. Um, I just, to do that, I mark a piece of paper with a cross, put it through my printer and then it lets me know, you know, like I put it on the top and then I know whether that's got to be face down or, or face up. Yeah, that's what I do. So... And then you get your, your paper and you cut it to size. I think I'm this slightly shiny. It's just like deli paper, this. So, I, but it's cheaper. Because I get the, you was getting the boxes of deli paper and it's quite expensive. I know you get 500 sheets, but they're quite small. Uh, never mind. And um, I do find with the deli paper, you know, it's, it's great as well. But I thought this was quite reasonable, so I'd give it a go. Okay, and there's washi tape. What you've got to make sure is one end is perfect. Okay, the end that goes, that's picked up with the rollers and the machine. So I tend to do that one first, yeah. And I'll sort of overlap it. I'm sticking it to my glass mat, which is fine, which keeps everything, you know, fairly even. And here I, I, I'll do it short, I don't mind. It's just this one that's important okay flatter the better you do get some you know that crinkles up a little bit and well, you know that's the luck of the draw a bit really don't need to do this one so well but I will uh, actually Judge that a bit. There we go. Didn't have enough overhang in there. Okay. And I use washi tape that most probably would never use. So, and then I'll just fold that over. Um. I'd be careful with your Epson printers. Um, it's they don't tend to like printing on anything but the paper for them. <laughs> so, 
So that's note why I have no longer got that Epson printer. Yeah, I've got my Canon back and I've got I've got a laser printer. OK, so, of course, mine, there's no worry about mine running. Um, what you can do, which is pretty good with this sort of paper, is you can print on, say, this side and you can flip it over and actually wet the other side. So you're not actually wetting what's on here. Yeah, you can do that with images, but with um, text or anything like that, then you're going to have to reverse your image before you print. Some of the settings you can do that mirror image. So I'm not doing text today or anything, and plus mine's a laser printer, so I'm fine. So and then I'll trim off all the bits. It's, this bit is tedious. Yes, I will say you know it really is, <laughs> but. If that's what you want, and you can make your own, well, you can get rice paper as well to print on, you know, the same thing, do the same thing like this, and you've got your own rice paper prints, haven't you? And also, because you're using, I'm using images from the next, the kit I'm using, so I'm putting them on there, because I want, I've got an idea for something I want to do. And, and I'll just do another one like that. Then I will go and print them and show you the result. Okay, mine are all done. And while these were printing, I was thinking, right, I haven't actually said, you know, I don't, I will not, I, I don't take any responsibility if, you know, your paper gets jammed or anything like that. I've never had a problem, but I'm not saying um, you won't. OK, so, you know, it is at your own risk. And the other thing is I print, print fabric exactly the same as what I've shown you here. OK, I lay it exactly on. But sometimes I will actually put um, what they call it, repositionable spray on the paper. Yeah. And and then place the fabric on then and then run it through, which is a little bit better than doing it this way because sometimes you do get a bit of crinkle in the fabric. But I will show that because I've actually found out I can actually do it on my um, laser printer as well, which is brilliant because then I know it's um, permanent ink <laughs> that's going into the fabric. So this is great. So anyway, yeah, these are... Oh, yeah, and another thing is um, I tend to, with my images, I try to get it so that I leave a bit of a border Okay, because I find the best thing is to cut these edges off. Yeah, rather than try and peel it off. I mean, you can do, but sometimes you rip the paper. So I just tend to cut it. So this is the ones I've done. So yeah, I just wanted to do some bugs. Like I said, I try to stay clear of the edges. I'll shrink everything down a little bit. It doesn't matter so much with the next print here. That is just... A, I just thought, oh, I'll print that, see what it's like. This really hasn't got a white background, but I still thought I'd print it just to see what it looked like. Although I wanted some coffee stains, some faux ones. <laughs> Might come in handy for different things. And that's some roses that I've done. Um, so, yeah, I wanted some, you know, like the stickers I use a lot. I just I had that in mind that sometimes you need them. So I've just done roses because that's all I've done. These ones were on my machine. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bit of striping going on here. But again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to, um, you know, like, not striping. It's just where it goes through the machine sometimes. And then, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. But I don't know. When, when you use them, it doesn't matter. And, like, these weren't set up for this tissue printing or whatever because these were just normal ones so a little bit too close here but i'm not going to lose too much of that i might lose a bit of that one up there look or i'll just be careful in that area yeah like i said i like to shrink things in this one definitely not it's just that these were on my machine yeah because i got a little laptop in my studio and i haven't got much storage on it so i tend to sort of bring things from home on my little flash drive and there wasn't a lot on there for this sort of printing but yeah 
and I just thought I'd print them out to show you what flowers look like. Okay, so that's that. So I w you will see these in projects that's coming up, um, you know, here and there, especially the bugs. I'm going to do something with that in a minute, but like I say, I'll keep this video short and sweet and then I can put it in my little tutorials and that because, um, like I said, I have done it before, but where that video is now, I have no idea. <laughs> it's there somewhere, but... <laughs> Okay, well, thanks very much, everybody, for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.